So let's take a look at how to create SQLite 3 database table using Node.js. So first thing, make sure you install your SQLite or SQLite 3 audio. Uh, make sure that either one of the two is installed. Once you do that, open text editor and create one file name, let's say sample.js, okay? And make sure it's in the same directory and you navigate to that, okay? Now, first thing is create constant, name it SQLite equals to require, then SQLite three opens in purpose mode okay and after that what we're going to do is let database open in memory okay so it will have its instance within memory so what we're going to do is we are going to call for sqlite 3 Okay, I'm using SQLite 3 here and then call database. Okay, make sure that it is properly written. Then memory, make sure colon at the start and the end of memory. Okay, so this is important. After that, simply type in db.new and here inside we are going to write our query so create table and let's name it gamers okay so we're going to create table for gamers with group id for each let's have it integer and primary key then comma then we have name text not null okay close the bracket and you can use semicolon then you can have um, comma outside okay so after that we are going to have uh, one more important thing which is function to handle error Okay, so to do that, we are going to go with simple error handling, such as if, then error, then we can call for, within that, we can simply throw error or write one more as return and console console.log error.message okay this is one way you can handle it by directly saying throw error okay and outside this simply have one more console.log say table created okay and then finally uh, we have everything done we can come out of this and say db dot loads okay so make sure that everything is correct you have your query okay so create table gamers okay then we have our query and then text not none then we have our function to handle error and return to console with the error message. Okay, once we are done with this, simply open your PowerShell or any command prompt. Okay, next thing is type in node then sample.js. After hitting the enter, it should show you the table created message. If it's not, it will throw the error and we have to fix the respective errors you can see sqlite 3 is not defined that means we have to go here and change this to sqlite because we are referring to this and not sqlite 3 
which is module right here okay so let's go here and clear it and run again okay one more error is db.new is not a function so we need to find db.run to run the query so let's find out okay so Okay, and it should show you with table created message. 